what's up you guys i'm gonna continue off from the first from the my last video i posted because it's very interesting john chapter 15 from 5 to 19 Matter of fact, I'm from 5 to 20. Okay, let's go. So, for those that you don't know, in my last video, go and watch it. I did from 1 to 4, and then I jumped right into chapter 16. So, with this video posted, I'm going to continue from 5 to 20 chapter 15 John chapter 15 from verse 5 to 20 let's go I am the vine are you ye are the branches so God is saying he is the vine the source and we are the branches he that abideth in him God he that abideth in me and I in him the same bringeth forth much fruit For without me, you can do nothing. So without God, we can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is weathered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire. And they, may, they are burned. So let me read that again because that's a very powerful verse. The whole chapter is powerful. But if you listen carefully. Verse 5. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me. And I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is weathered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire. They are burnt. So that's what we do when we're doing a barbecue or we trying to make fire. We take all the dry wood that, and just create fire. So if we don't abide in God, we're like the, those dry branches that are cast into the fire. But if we abide in God, we live. So our branches will be pruned so we could produce much fruit. Verse 7, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. So as long as you abide in God, you can ask God for anything. Once it's good, like a child asks for something from his father or his parents, whatever, if they see it's good for them and it's not gonna be harmful, it is given to them. But if you see it's gonna be harmful to them, it is not given to them until the right time or if there is such a time but let's go verse 8 herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit so shall ye be my disciples as the father has loved me so have i loved you continue ye in my love so as the father has had loved me so I have loved you, continue ye in my love. So God is warning us, telling us to continue with love, because he is love. So verse 10, if ye keep my commandments, and ye shall abide in my love. So following God's instruction is keeping his commandments. If you love God, 
With your lips or you love him with your action? Which is more important, loving God with your action or with both? But it's more about your spirit, what's inside, you know, like your actions. So verse 10, if, if you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. So even Jesus followed, his, followed the commandments of God the Father because they are one. So if God could keep His own commandments and He came down as one of us, there's no excuse why we can't. I'm not saying once again, don't quote this wrong. I'm not saying that we are perfect because none of us are perfect. But if, if we can't follow simple basic instruction as following God's commandment, which he left the rules and laws. Okay, look how fast like we could memorize a, a song or something. And it has nothing to do with like the, the rules and instruction that God left and it's so simple and we deny God if we deny God then he will also deny us so the least we could do is like keep God commandments so verse 11 these things have I spoken unto you that may joy these things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you that your joy might be full so through God will be whole will be full this is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you henceforth I call you not servants for the servants know it not what his Lord doeth but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father I have made known unto you so God don't look at us as servants. He look at us as friends, as family. That's so honorable. Because God is so great and we're the least. And he could look at us as family. Verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. So as it is not we that chose God, but God chose us. And through him choosing us, we get better at stuff. And we could be, we could choose him just like he has chose us. But God is the one that chose us. Let me read that again. So yeah, I don't lose you guys. You have not chosen me but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever we shall ask of our Father, of the, what, and whatsoever we shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you he may give it you he may give it you so whatsoever we ask god through jesus he'll give it to us these things i command you that ye love one another if the world hate you you know that it hated me before it hated you that pretty much explains it why 
You ever wonder like some people just don't like you for whatever reason? Sometimes you don't even know them. You don't do anything to them, but they just... It's just the spirit inside of them and the spirit inside of you. The heart of a lion, a Judah. The heart of God is inside of you. Why you're so pure and they just don't like you because they're evil or, or they're just unclean. Should I say clean and unclean? You have a clean spirit, which is the spirit of God. Then you have the unclean spirit, which is the, the opposite, the spirit of darkness. So most people, they are intimidated by your presence. So it's like your spirit will rub their spirit the wrong way. And they'll just envy you or dislike you or whatever. Just want to want plot on you. So we ought to be careful. Verse 17. These things I command you, that ye love one another. And the best thing you could do to a, a spirit of darkness too, is I realize, is to forgive them. That's why God even said it when they was prosecuting him for what he's doing to save us. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they did. So God was reminding himself to forgive us. Because he could have just destroyed us. But thank God that God is God. And God have a sense of humor. As terrible as he is, like he showed great mercy. So that we may repent and fall back in the right track where we belong instead of just one mistake and you perish so verse 17 these things I command you that ye love one another so God is telling us love no matter what you know there's a time for everything God sees vengeance is his but sometimes God will work through us. But most of the time, God have a mysterious way of dealing with things. So it's just good to follow whatever God said to do, we ought to do. Verse 18, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world will love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. The last verse, verse 20. Remember the word. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have prosecuted me, if they have prosecuted me, they will also prosecute you. If they have kept my saying, if they had kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So remember that. You know, God said we must remember these things. You see me? Because it's not a, you know, it's not a joke. Life is no joke. And I thank God for the word every day. Just how to meditate on the word. It's so hard for love your enemies, you know. I can't, you know, there's times... God no more like I'm just a man this is overwhelming this is very powerful stuff like to be able to love to, to a certain degree where it's just contagious where your enemies will feel messed up within themselves because you're you know you could have you could have chose different path and you chose this one path. And that path you chose is not an easy path. It's a narrow way. It's also the hardest way. It's the reason why, because it seems harder, because 
a lot of the world and a lot of people of the world they want to do worldly stuff so it's like the opposite direction of the it's against the spirit and against the flesh so the flesh is against the spirit and the spirit is against the flesh so most people they'll follow the flesh a lot i mean we all make mistakes we all fall short uh, i get it none of excuse me none of us is perfect but after walking for many years and going through many tasks and if we don't understand certain things or get certain things what do you think happen it's like going to school and you keep repeating the same grade because unless we accept it and elevate from it we will always repeat history will always repeat itself until we get it it doesn't matter what generation the only worst thing is that it could be worse it could be much worse by how we treat things it's very important to have the spirit of god and to live an abundant life because you never know who's watching and whether they're watching or not you want to leave a good example so it's only so far lies could go before it dies the truth will always be the truth and the sky is the limit with the truth the truth is a blessing and it's a blessing to be able to have discernment to be able to tell a lie from a truth without even being around when it was rooted or when it started to grow there's some stuff you could just use discernment and decide what is true and what is not true so hopefully this word is a blessing i'm not gonna drop too much on you because i know i could get very very deep you know and this is not even the scratch of the surface because there's so much you could talk about there's so much topic there's so much wisdom and knowledge that it could become very heavy you know so just meditate on that word read it for yourself john chapter 15 from verse 5 to 20 check it out for yourself comment down below too and let me know what you think when you read it on your own and always pray for discernment and i hope all is well with you and your families i love you guys reach out to me share like subscribe comment down below let me know peace i'll see you in the next video enjoy